Minesto is a company that specializes in harnessing renewable energy from the ocean. They have developed a unique tidal energy technology called Deep Green. This technology uses underwater kites to generate electricity from tidal streams and ocean currents. The kites are tethered to the seafloor and move in a figure eight motion to drive an onboard turbine and generate power. The innovative kite design provides an excellent power to weight ratio and enables cost effective energy generation even in low flow tidal sites. The kites can operate fully submerged underwater, where currents are stronger. This allows them to tap into a large untapped source of tidal energy. Manesto is working on scaling up installations, with project sites in the Faroe Islands aiming to build an array of underwater kites totaling 120 megawatts capacity. The technology is unique and patented. It operates similarly to a kite flying in the wind. In the Faroe Islands, Manesto is part of one of the world's most ambitious energy transition schemes, where tidal energy can play an essential role in reaching 100% renewable by 2030. Moreover, Minesto has joined forces with Schneider Electric, a global leader in the digital transformation of energy management and automation, to commercialize marine energy. The collaboration aims at accelerating the commercial rollout of marine energy to enable the global transition towards net-zero societies, where energy systems that include planable, renewable energy production are necessary. They plan to develop and build ocean energy farms based on Minesto's deep green technology. Wind trees are artificial trees designed to harness wind energy. They were created by New Wind, a French company founded in 2004. Each wind tree is about 30 feet tall and looks like a real tree with artificial leaf-shaped wind turbines instead of regular leaves. The wind turbines spin in the wind and generate electricity. A single wind tree can produce up to 2,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, enough to power a household. Wind trees are designed for use in urban environments like parks, plazas, and other public spaces. The first wind Wind tree was installed in Paris in 2014. Since then, they have been installed in various cities around the world, including London, Boston, Vancouver, and Stockholm. Wind trees aim to produce clean, renewable energy while blending into natural environments. Their designed appearance makes them aesthetically pleasing. While one wind tree cannot produce as much electricity as a large wind turbine, the advantage is that wind trees can be installed in many places turbines cannot, bringing small scale wind energy directly to urban areas. Groups of wind trees can provide meaningful amounts of distributed energy. Overall, wind trees represent an innovative approach to wind energy by making it viable in city environments in an artistic, aesthetically pleasing way. They aim to help cities have greener, more renewable energy profiles. The Himawari Solar Lighting System, developed by La Forêt Engineering, is a unique system that brings real natural sunlight indoors. The technology brings natural sunlight indoors through a heliostat system on the roof. The roof module consists of a large computer-controlled mirror that tracks the sun and reflects sunlight down into a specialized optical cable system. The fiber optic cable runs from the roof to a diffuser panel installed on the ceiling indoors, which scatters the sunlight to evenly illuminate the room below with natural light. Advantages of the system include energy savings, improved health-slash-mood from natural light, reduced eye strain, and lower maintenance than electrical lighting. It provides the full visible light spectrum. Commercial applications include warehouses, factories, retail stores, hospitals, schools, gyms, and more. It can transmit sunlight up to about 60 meters from roof to diffuser panel. Beyond Japan, the Himawari system has also seen some installations in Europe, the Middle East, and Australia. It represents an innovative application of solar technology to bring sunlight light into indoor spaces. The name connects the system to the sunflower named Himawari weather satellites, as both ingeniously harness the light and benefits of the sun. Skysel's Power, a German company, is passionate about wind energy and is dedicated to accelerating the global energy transition. They have developed an innovative solution that revolutionizes how wind is harnessed and converted into electricity. Their technology centers around automatic power kites or tethered wings that fly at high altitudes, where wind speeds are stronger and more consistent than at lower altitudes. These kites can harness the wind's untapped supplies at altitudes of up to 400 meters. Skysel's Power was the first company in the world to develop 
develop an industrial application for this technology. The company has created the world's first installation for the production of wind energy using a kite, which can be used both on land and in the open sea. The power of one wind turbine is from 80 to 200 kilowatts. The system is a mobile platform inside which the generator is hidden. The generator is connected to the kite using a cable. The kite is designed in such a way as to describe figure eights in the air under the influence of the wind, while the other end of the cable inside the platform is constantly unwound and wound onto a reel by rotating the generator. The kite can rise to a height of up to 800 m due to the absence of natural obstacles. The wind force at such a height is twice as high as on the one on which the blades of standard wind generators are located. In the event of a hurricane, snowfall, or rain, the kite automatically lands and removes the winch inside. Skysol systems can be used to generate electricity or to propel ships. Touchwind is a Dutch company that develops floating offshore wind turbines. The company was founded by Rikus van de Klip and its headquarters are in Eindhoven, Netherlands. Touchwind's wind turbines are unique in that they have a single tilting blade. Touchwind claims that its wind turbines can be produced for 30% less than conventional turbines. The single blade design is said to be more efficient at capturing wind energy, especially in strong winds. The single blade is easier to maintain and repair than multiple blades. The tilting blade can be automatically turned out of the wind in extreme weather conditions, reducing the risk of damage. The floating platforms are anchored to the seafloor but can move with waves and wind, requiring a dynamic mooring system. One of their main innovations is a pivot system that allows the turbine to align itself with the wind direction for optimal energy production. Touchwind is still in the early stages of commercialization but it has already received significant investment from companies such as Mitsui OSK Lines and the Netherlands Enterprise Agency. The company plans to begin testing its full-scale wind turbines in 2024. In addition to its wind turbine technology, Touchwind also offers financial and consulting services in the renewable energy sector. Overall, Touchwind is a promising company with the potential to revolutionize the floating offshore wind industry. Its single-blade wind turbine design has the potential to reduce the cost and improve the efficiency and reliability of floating wind power. These small, lightweight wind turbines are inspired by the flying motion of hummingbirds. Introduced by the Tunisian company Tirewind, these unconventional turbines move by flapping wings or blades instead of rotating them like traditional wind turbines. They employ dual oscillating blades that mimic the figure 8 motion of the wings of a hovering hummingbird, making the turbine's relatively compact design a potential fit for residential use. Constructed of carbon fiber, the two vertical axis wings of the tire wind turbine are 5.25 feet in length for a total sweep area of 11.7 feet. This relatively compact size is less than the sweep area for typical three-blade horizontal axis wind turbines made for residential use, though the tire turbine's rated power output of 1 kilowatt is also less. These turbines are designed for small-scale, decentralized renewable energy generation, like powering individual homes or devices. Their small size makes them suitable for urban areas. They can operate at lower wind speeds than conventional wind turbines, as low as 2 to 3 miles per hour, by mimicking the hummingbird ability to hover in place. This allows them to take advantage of more variable breezes. The turbine is said to give off less noise pollution compared to conventional wind turbines, be safer for migrating birds, less visually obtrusive, and allow for a higher density of turbines in a wind farm configuration. The company has plans for a large-scale version of the turbine for use in either onshore or offshore wind farms. The O-Wing Turbine is a unique innovation in the field of wind energy. It's the first truly omnidirectional wind turbine capable of harnessing winds from any direction simultaneously without having to rotate or reposition itself. This turbine has a unique bladeless design that allows for the generation of clean electricity in areas of high energy consumption. The omnidirectional capability of the O-Wing Turbine comes from its unique D-shaped rotor design that allows it to capture winds from 360 degrees. This makes it advantageous for urban environments with turbulent and variable wind patterns compared to horizontal axis turbines that have to rotate to face the wind. It is designed as a small-scale turbine suitable for installation on apartment buildings and urban environments where winds can be chaotic. Its truly omnidirectional, single-axis design allows it to function even when the wind is irregular and coming from all directions. The Owen turbine was developed at ETH Zurich by researchers there led by Professor Alfred Schneider. Early testing by ETH researchers showed 
potential for good performance even in chaotic urban wind conditions. Key advantages of the O-Wind turbine are its ability to capture more wind energy in turbulent conditions compared to conventional turbines and its omnidirectional operation that doesn't require repositioning.